Welcome back! Hello guys! In this tutorial, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano mag-encrypt and decrypt ng password using C Sharp and MySQL. Isa to sa mga requested tutorials, no? Thank you! So, I have here an example. I have here two text boxes for username and password. Meron din tayong reveal password button dito. Ito ay icon. In case na gusto nyo ring i-hide or i-view yung password. And dito sa baba, again, I have here another two text boxes. One for the encrypted format of the password and another one for the decrypted format. Dito sa ibaba, meron tayong two buttons. Encrypt and save at saka decrypt. Once na pinindot ko tong encrypt and save button, Magsishow dito sa text box yung encrypted format ng password and masisave siya sa database. Yung decrypt button naman, i-display niya lang dito sa text box yung decrypted format obviously ng encrypted password. Let's try it. Username, Donita Rose. Password, admin12345. Try natin i-hide. Okay. How about i-show? Yan, okay. Next, let's try to encrypt and save the password. Yan, password was saved successfully. Check natin sa database. Refresh. Yan, ito na siya. Username Donita Rose. Password. So, naka-encrypt. By the way, here is my database. Explain ko lang. Database name, dbpos, tsaka na lang siya nilagay. Table ko, users table. Columns, id, username, and password. Yung data type, big int yung id, naka primary key siya, not null, and naka auto increment. Username is varcar20, password varbinary256, okay. Next, how about decrypt? Ayan, na-decrypt na. So, yung password is admin12345. Ganyan yung gagawin natin sa tutorial na to. Let's start. Balik tayo sa Visual Studio. Click File, New, Project, Windows Forms App, .NET Framework, Project Name, it's up to you. Sa akin na lang. After that, click create. First, we're going to add four text boxes. Palitan lang muna natin ang pangalan para hindi tayo malito. TXT username. TXT password, TXT encrypt, and TXT decrypt. Next, labels. One for the username, then password, encrypted, and Decrypted. mag a din tayo ng picture box para sa icon. Para dun sa reveal password button. Click background image, then import nyo lang yung icon nyo. Ito yung sa akin. Ayan, mata. Okay. Last is, mag a tayo ng two buttons. Name. BTN Encrypt. Palitan nyo na rin yung text. Encrypt and save. Yung isang button, BTN decrypt, yung text is decrypt. Okay na? Palitan ko lang yung font para mas makita nyo. Fast forward ka na. Add mo na tayo ng DLL file, mysql.data.dll Right-click nyo lang dito sa 
Preferences. Click Add Reference. Kung wala pa kayo ng DLL file, nasa description lang yung link kung saan nyo siya pwedeng i-download. Tapos, Browse. Then, select nyo lang yung DLL file. Tapos, okay na. Ito na siya sa References. Coding na tayo. Import lang tayo. Using mysql.data.mysql client. Para magamit natin yung mga classes ng mysql. Next, unahin na natin tong reveal password button. Double click nyo lang para ma-redirect tayo sa code view. Ayan, automatic na siyang nag-create ng event handler. Sa loob niyan, gagawa lang tayo ng if-else statement. So, for sure naman, alam nyo na yung if-else statement, di ba? So, if txt password, the password car, gagamitin natin yung password car property, is equal to double equals asterisk txt password the password car is equal to backslash zero. Else, txt password the password car is equal to asterisk semicolon. It means, kapag yung lawan ng txt password text box ay nakahide or naka asterisk, it change na lang. Gagawin niya lang visible yung characters which is represented by backslash zero. Kapag naman naka-unhide or visible, ibabalik niya lang into asterisk or ihahide lang niya ulit. Let's try it muna. Maglagay tayo ng password. Then, click the reveal password button. Yan, hinide niya. Reveal. Ayan, nag-show ulit. So, okay. Next, encrypt and Save button. Double click. First, we need to convert the TXT password in a byte array using UTF-8 encoding. Name ng variable, data. Diyan natin ilalagay yung converted password. Next, encryption. We're going to use AES Crypto Service Provider class. Declare lang muna tayo ng dalawang variables, encryption key and encryption IV. So, nag-generate siya ng random encryption key and initialization vector or IV using generate key and generate IV methods. Dito naman, ini-store lang natin sa encryption key and encryption IV variables yung Generated key and IV na gagamitin natin mamaya sa decryption. Next, nag-create naman tayo rito ng iCryptoTransform object or encryptor using AES Crypto Service Provider. Tinatransform niya yung laman ng data variable using encryptor, then it will be placed within this encrypted data variable. After that, i-convert lang natin to base64 string yung laman ng encrypted data variable tsaka natin i-display dito sa txtencrypt.txt testing username donits password donits12345 encrypt and save okay ito na yung encrypted format pero wala pa siya rito sa database. In case na gusto nyo rin isave sa database yung mga in-input nyo, proceed tayo. Create lang tayo ng connection string. String, connection string variable is equal to uh, data source, localhost, port 3306, username, root, password, walang password, then semicolon. Using, ito lang natin si MySQL connection class, then yung variable connection is equal to new MySQL connection 
open and close parenthesis, call nyo lang si connection string variable. Open and close curly brackets. Open lang natin yung connection. Connection dot open. Next. Para sa command, string um, name ng command, insert query. Name ng variable, insert query, is equal to, eh, yung query nyo, mag insert lang tayo sa users table. So, insert into name ng database, dbpos, dot name ng table, users. After that is yung name ng columns. Username and password column. Values. Then yung placeholders. At username and at encrypted data. Tapos yung mismong command. Call lang natin yung variable na nag-hold ng query and connection. Insert query and connection variable. Next, parameters. At username, yan. So, at username parameter is assigned the value of txt username dot text. And the at encrypted data parameter is assigned the value of the obviously encrypted data. To execute that, call nyo lang si command, command variable, command dot execute non query. And last, Create tayo ng message box para lang ma-confirm natin kung nag-work ba yung code na ginawa natin. Message box that show password was saved successfully. Yan. Testing. Username, QWERTY na lang. Password, QWERTY12345. Click encrypt and save. Yan, may message box. Nag-save naman, no? Check natin sa database. Refresh. O, eto na siya. Pretty you, password, encrypted pa rin, syempre. So, okay na tayo sa encrypting password. Next, decrypt naman. Double click. Halos same lang din dun sa nauna natin ginawa, no? Parang pa-reverse lang yung gagawin natin. Na medyo hindi. Hindi daw. So first, co-convert lang natin from base64 string back into a byte array yung laman ng txt encrypt dot text. Name ng variable is encrypted data. Then, gagamit lang ulit tayo ng AES crypto service provider class but for decryption naman. Yung ini-store nating encryption key and initialization vector Nakaset siya sa AES Crypto Service Provider object. And yung padding mode is also explicitly set to PKC S7 to ensure consistent padding. Okay, next. Nag-create naman tayo ulit dito ng iCryptoTransform object or decryptor using AES Crypto Service Provider. Itong transform final block method... It is called on the decryptor, passing in the encrypted byte array to perform the decryption. Yung result ay ni-store niya rito sa loob ng decrypted data variable. Pwede din naman kayong maglagay ng try and catch in case na gusto nyo. Pero ako, hindi na. Then yung final step is, i-display lang natin dito sa text decrypt yung converted format. Yung laman ng decrypted data variable, co-convert lang natin pabalik sa UTF-8 encoded string gamit tong encoding.utf8.getString method. Try natin. Username, sample, password, sample12345, encrypt and save. Okay, encrypted na. And na-save na rin siya sa database. Next, decrypt. 
Okay. So, from encrypted, na-decrypt na natin siya. So, ganun lang, guys. I hope na nakatulong ako ulit sa inyo. Thank you for watching.